Ocean energy is imagined as a key technology with the potential to make a large contribution to power generation with minimal environmental impacts in Ghana. An in-depth study into the viability and operations for the sea wave energy in Ghana was conducted at Adafua in the Greater Accra region by the management of TC Energy Limited and three experts from Ecuador. The analysis of the wave technology and economic feasibility revealed that there is sufficient wave energy in the current identified location to generate power using submerged surge technology at a cost lower than the conventional generating methodologies in use currently in Ghana with little or no environmental impact to human livelihood and fish and water creatures. In an interview with Netu News, the executive chairman of TC Energy, Anthony Opoku, indicated that the ADA project, when fully implemented, will have a generating capacity of 1,000 megawatts. He added that studies conducted along the coastline of Ghana has revealed areas for a possible total generation of 5,000 megawatts to augment Ghana's energy mix. He explained that ocean energy is relatively cheaper compared to other conventional energy generation methods in the country. The cost of this uh, technology is not that expensive compared to other conventional uh, methods of generating electricity. Uh, for instance, uh, a thousand megawatts of sea wave power plant will cost a billion US dollars. Now, to put up a thousand megawatts, Therma plant or other plants. <laughs> I mean, you and I, we know how much a buoy dam cost us. So, <laughs> in comparison, it's much cheaper. Uh, also, the cost of uh, uh, running the plants itself is also also is cheap, because, like I said, we don't have to use oil. We don't have to be dependent on gas or laying a gas pipeline to be able to bring in gas to uh, generate the electricity from the. Anthony Opoku therefore appealed for governmental assistance in establishing an ocean energy generating plant in the country. The government has no partnership at all, but the government has to set up an environment which is conducive enough for us to be able to come in and, and, and operate. And right now, that is what we are uh, doing with the government. And like I said, we need the support also f from the government. They have been giving us support, I would say. We have... We have some various ministers who have been really giving a great support for the project.